worth mentioning earlier, we have two very, very special guests with us today, being Priscilla Presley and Christopher Amoruso. Absolutely. So they both uh, recently collaborated on Shades of Elvis, tribute book, and many of you may have heard of it. And it's showcasing Amoruso's photographs of celebrities wearing Elvis's iconic sunglasses. And we have um, Cher, um, Van Halen, there's so many artists tribute, uh, uh, tributing to Elvis and to those sunglasses. And it's, uh, it's just an incredible uh, book, a coffee table book and something that uh, you would hold close uh, to you. Priscilla, again, she did work closely with Amoruso on the development of the book and contributed to the foreword. Copies of the book will be available for purchase at the Information Tent, which is in the downtown, and include a special page commemorating the 20th anniversary of the Collingwood Elvis Festival. And it is only available here. You can get the book online, but with the uh, town of Collingwood and the Collingwood Elvis Festival, only here in Collingwood. So, I would now like to um, invite um, you to join me in welcoming uh, the, the town of Collingwood, everyone, uh, both uh, Priscilla Presley and Christopher Amoruso. Please give a round of applause. people to tell a story and uh, it's just an honor for me to uh, be, be here to do that. Wow. This is amazing. This is my first time here and I'm overwhelmed. Totally overwhelmed. I know many of you have been here for many years, 20. Uh, this is maybe, I don't know, the first time for some of you, um, six, seven, eight, ten times uh, a year that you come. Uh, I've been told about this, how amazing it's been, how much fun you have in your celebration uh, to Elvis coming, him, coming here and supporting him in every way. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you so much for your love and your affection for him and of course your support. Thank you. And on behalf of my family, on behalf of Elvis Presley Enterprises, on behalf of Graceland, we thank you for again supporting and preserving Elvis's legacy. If Elvis were alive today, trust me, he would never ever believe that after three decades here you are still with him and still supporting him in every way and not only him but introducing him to your children and their children he just wouldn't have believed it he thought reaching the age of 40 45 years old was kind of it you know for anyone and now i see all of you here today and it's very very touching very touching emotional and um, I just have to view you just for a little bit and just take a look. It's just amazing, and, uh, truly. And uh, hello, all of you. <laughs> you all got front seats. <laughs> Great. Hello, hi. How are you? <laughs> so I just wanted to say to enjoy and have a great time here, as you always do. I'm going to try and do the same when I'm with you. And um, love to speak with you. I'm right now going to bring up Christopher Amoruso. Uh, as you just heard from our mayor, that uh, we came up with this amazing tribute for Elvis with all these people that have also made a, an impression on our culture. Um, every walk, not discriminating in any way. We have uh, even controversial people, but Elvis was controversial too, right? So we have them in the book and they all admired him. So please join me in welcoming Christopher Amoruso, the amazing photographer. This is incredible. I mean, 
And how lucky am I to be standing up here with the most incredible person in the world, Priscilla Presley. I mean, really, this woman and all the people at Graceland who've kept Elvis's legacy alive, and all of you, I was a fan like all of you, you know? And now I'm standing up here and I was able to front this incredible tribute to Elvis and, and you know, help keep his legacy alive and bring iconic people together and let them touch a piece of him. That's what I wanted to do. And I hope all of you enjoy, you know, those, those tributes and, and hopefully we can continue that on. I mean, 20 years of doing this. This is like unbelievable. Look at the people in the back. Can you hear us all the way in the back? I gotta tell you, when I first when I first met Priscilla, um, it was it was probably 20 years that I had this idea, and I got to photograph her. We had a mutual love for animals, and I got to photograph her with her rescue dogs, which was incredible. She's got a huge heart for animals, and she lived up to every expectation that I ever heard about her. And one more time, please let's just give a round of applause for Priscilla Presley. And then I want to do one more thing before I get off and give this back to you. I want to take a selfie with Priscilla over here with all of you behind us. So when we do it, everybody's going to put their hands up and then we'll post it up so you guys will see it, okay? We'll tell you when. Thank you so much. Priscilla Presley. Thank you guys. We're going to get that viral. <laughs> Maybe bring more people to Collingwood. Uh, like I said, this is my very first time actually at any festival like this. This is the number one in the world and you have been amazingly supportive. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Let's all have a great time here today and um, join together. Thank you. Thank you. Priscilla and Christopher to come forward. I have a presentation to make to them on behalf of the citizens of Collingwood and myself and my council. We actually uh, have, we have a key to the city. So if you please, please come forward. This is to Priscilla Presley and Christopher Amoruso for the 20th annual Collingwood Elvis Festival 2014. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate that. One second. Wow, this is quite an honor, and I want to thank you very much, Sandra. She has been amazing. What a great mayor, right? I mean, four years. Four years? <laughs> Wow, oh my. and I want to thank Rosemary O'Brien uh, for inviting me here, and Christopher. Thank you, Rosemary, from what I understand. She has been involved, obviously, forever doing this, and she's doing a great, great job. So please, a round of applause for Rosemary. And one more time, we want a nice Collingwood warm welcome for Priscilla Presley and Christopher Amaruzzo.
We can't forget our friends in the back here. We've got the full house on uh, the north side of, uh, of the stage as well. So bear with us. Um, they're here and you'll hear lots more. Also, in a moment, we're going to invite another special guest here. For those of you who don't know, um, Elvis Presley Enterprises is not only have our festival, but many, many festivals and events to police and take care of Elvis's legacy on behalf of Elvis and Priscilla and the family. So we are very fortunate to have with us today the vice president of Elvis Presley Enterprises, Mr. Gary Hahn, and publicist Kevin Kern. Thank you, Rosemary. Are there any Elvis fans out there? How about back there? Can you guys make some noise back there? Well, they say Elvis lives, and he truly does, whether it's Budapest, Elvis Presley Park, or Collingwood's Elvis Festival, the king of rock and roll and his legacy live on and on behalf of Elvis Presley's Graceland in Memphis, Elvis Presley Enterprises, and the Presley family, we'd like to present this token of appreciation and, and congratulate Mayor Cooper and Rosemary O'Brien on 20 years. So happy anniversary, guys, and here's the 20 more. Oh, we have to show everyone this. It is heavy hardware. <laughs> well, thank you very much uh, to our friends in uh, Memphis. It means a lot to us. And, and 20th anniversary, as you can see, the support, uh, overwhelming support, uh, not only to the town of Collingwood, but uh, to Elvis Presley, and uh, may his music continue forever. We're going to have to get a wheelbarrow. That, that's heavy. <laughs> Absolutely. I just want to say one other thing before I leave, is that I was only 14 years old when I met Elvis Presley. One of the things he said to me, <laughs> One of the things he said to me, not just once, but at that young age and throughout, that he had the greatest fans in the world. And I, I swear that God is my witness, he said that to me. And he had a, a few albums that, 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 that he had in Germany of fans who sent them their picture. And he had them all put in albums and he showed me from Germany, from Spain, from Argentina, from Japan, from England, all over, but three or four books. And I, I thought, God, that's just, I, mean, I, I, I as a young girl, I really didn't know that there were fans and things like that. I didn't know that, um, you know, with all the support that you gave to people that you cared for and loved. Uh, I was thrown into the world of rock and roll at such a young age, but still, you know, to sh to, for him to show emotionally how much he cared. And he was in Germany thinking that he'd be forgotten, that he was taken away from the music that he loved and the career that he wanted to be in join, of course, and be in the army. Not join, he was drafted. But the one thing that he had hoped was that his fans would still be there when he came home. And he wasn't quite sure, so he kept those books with him. And he said, I just hope they stay with me. And he continued that, not just then, but when, of course, I lived at Graceland and throughout our marriage, and even after. So here's living proof that you are still there for him, and I just wanted you to know how much he appreciated all of you. So thank you. Thank you. And I would just like to add one personal note. Um, this is such an honor to have this lady here, and I just want to say, and I think I can probably speak for all our fans out here, we thank you from the bottom of our heart for keeping Elvis's memory and legacy alive. And for, if it wasn't for you, these fans wouldn't get an opportunity to know the man more than just the music and the artist, but to actually know the incredible spiritual and, and giving man that Elvis Presley really was. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rosemary.